Hi, this is Ashwin Kumar Varma. Uh, today in this particular video, I'm very much excited to present my next uh, presentations with the project uh, with all of you guys. And uh, I'm very happy to share that uh, with all of you. And if you think uh, that I have to make some changes in my data set and uh, in my project, you can uh, test me in the comment sections and uh, i will definitely revert you back and uh, definitely change to my data and try to change my project also so uh, quickly i am going to start my data first of all i have to share my screen uh, okay this is the presentation. Uh, uh, it's a let's grow more. It's a company and uh, it's give me our data. Uh, it's give, uh, I have joined my first internship in this company and it's give a first uh, task to complete, which is based on the Irish data set. Iris, I will show you the what is the Irish data set. And uh, I have uh, I have uh, joined in this company as a as an intern data science intern. So quickly starts. This is my okay. This is me. This is the virtual internship program. So it's this one. This is the flower Irish data set. Flower classification ML project. ML means the machine learning. So it's a beginner task level and uh, I have completed. So this is something about me. It, uh, it's a company, let's grow more. It's a virtual internship program on the data science intern. And uh, it, the year is 2022, presented by me, Ashwin Kumar Verma. This is my LinkedIn ID. Okay. This is my LinkedIn ID, this is my mail ID, and this is my GitHub ID, and this is my Instagram ID. All the links uh, I will put it in the comment section, uh, sorry, in the description box. You can vis uh, visit there, and if you want to contact me, you can easily. I'm very much active in this LinkedIn, uh, Insta, mail, GitHub, all this. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot the link here, my. Twitter account. I'm also very much active in that. So this is me and this is a data science program. So quickly, let's start. Quick, uh, first of all, I want to share you, show you the data set of this uh, iris, uh, iris flower. So this is the data set. As you can see, Okay, this is the data set. Uh, this is the ID, just uh, ID is just a number, uh, integer number. As you can see, ID is just an integer. This is a total 150 row data. Here is so the 150 row data. Now, 151 showing because uh, the first line is occupied by ID, sepal length, sepal width petal length, petal width, spaces, and so on. So that's why it will show the 151 row data, but actually it's contained 150 row data. So what we have to do in this, we are going to make a machine learning model on the petal length, sepal length, sepal width, petal width, and we are going to predict the spaces. We are going to predict these spaces from my row data. What is uh, what uh, if I put uh, 3.4, then what will do? it uh, gives the result? It will give the Citosa, I Citosa. If uh, if you put the three, what will it give? It will it will give the iris versicolor and so on. So quickly, I'm going to start. So this is the. Um, my, this is my notebook. 
and uh, quickly i'm going to show you guys the how the iris flower looks like okay this one is the iris flower okay iris flower uh, let me show you the one. as you can see here okay it's showing very low this one is this one is a perfect example of uh, iris flower as you can see uh, this is the sepal uh, sepal width sepal length petal width petal width petal length this is from the topmost side of uh, flower you can here also see here also this one is a so let's start my data set what i have done firstly i have imported the relevant libraries what i have needed in my data set and what i have to work on it so i have imported the panda the spd matplotlib as blt uh, Okay, here I forgot to. Matplotlib, matplotlib as PLT. Input the numpy as NP, C bond for SNS and person uh, matplotlib inline. So first I have uh, read my data. I have imported my data from my uh, Google Drive to this uh, notebook. For this, I have just mounted uh, my uh, mounted my Google Drive. It will show here, and uh, we have to cho choose the path where the data set we have quoted. Here is the data. So we have uh, this is the path of the data, and. Uh, then after I have imported the DF, we have to see the first head, first five column. So this one is the first five column. So what is the shape of this? Uh, 105, 150 into 6. What is the size of the data set? 900. It means it will, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. This one, 1, 7 8 9 10 11 12 that's why it shows the 150 all the size of the data so what i have done uh in the next way this id is not relevant for me for my machine learning it will half my data and uh, i don't need this data so what i have done i have just dropped it and removed or removed from my data set so for this uh, what i have written, uh, written here is a df dot drop. It will drop the ID. Axis is equal to one. Axis is uh, axis is equal to one. This one is the axis one, and uh, in place is equal to two. It means the uh, what I have done, what I have changed in my data set, it will permanently. So then, uh, what I have done, I have quickly uh, active this df. So we have successfully. Uh, remove the ID from my data set. So here you can see the DF uh, 150 into 5. We can also shape a DF dot shape. Okay. One fifteen to 5. And first we have we have one fifteen to six one fifteen to six. So we have successfully removed the data of ID. So in the next line I have uh, checked the, the informations of my data set. 
what is the information it will show the uh, sepal length uh, 150 non nut null null uh, float 64 that's all and which spaces is subject object so here you can see the uh, spaces objective type data set so uh, for next line what i have done uh, uh, df dot null is null uh, parenthesis dot uh, sum if uh, if it uh, uh, we are checking through this code that uh, is there any null value in my data set or is there a nan value in my data set if it happens that it if it happens that uh, then in which column it will then uh, it shows the data here is one if uh, if any one then one two then yeah, in the here it will show the two let me show you the how uh, how it's look uh, uh, when we have removed the sum part so quickly i have to remove this and it will show the boolean expression so uh, here you can see that the boolean expression false 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 everything is false because uh, uh, there is no non null value so that will show the false if there is null value that will show the uh, true so for quickly uh, to see the data we uh, put uh, some uh, dot this one it will give the summary of so that's why we have written i have written the is null dot sum for next line uh, we have checked the descriptions is there any what is the description of the all the data sets so then we have seen got the, the count is equal to 150 mean 5.8 3.05 and so on standard deviation value this one minimum value is 4.3 for the sepal length two for the sepal width and one for the petal length and uh, 0 0.1 for the petal width so the maximum value is 7.9 for the sepal length 4.4 the sepal width and 6.9 for the petal length and the petal width for 2.5 so what i have done in the next line is uh, i have uh, summed the all the row data and the rows is 150. So look, uh, we have quickly visualized the data set uh, in the next line in respective with the others. So here is we have done. Mm. Sepal length, uh, sepal length and the petal width, the data is this. Sepal length and uh, petal width, petal length, this data, data, data is this. The sepal length and sepal width data is this. Sepal length uh, with the sepal length data is this. So that uh, 4 into 4 graph, it will give the 16 graph. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Six total 16 data set we got. So quickly. Okay. Now we are going to separate the input and output data. What we are giving the input and what we got the output data. So we are divided uh, into XY format. So uh, input data is, is X and um, the output get we get is Y. Okay, for this we have written the data is equal to the dot uh, values. X is equal to this one, Y is equal to this one. And uh, in this particular line, what I have done, I will tell you. This from, from separate length, to a petal length, sorry, petal width. We are giving uh, this all the data to uh, to X part and the spaces 
to y part okay so um, firstly i have we have we have divided the data into two part two part firstly i have divided the data into uh, x we are giving to x and the remaining is to y so we have we are going we can check it here is it uh, done or not let's check what x here is the all 150 data of x part you can see here is 5.1 uh, 5.1 3.5 3.5 1.4 1.4 and 0 0.2 0 0.2 what this means this means we have successfully separated my data assigned to x and y we can also check it here is y let me see. y is objective type so it will give the all the last column iris citosa iris ver, uh, versicolor and iris virginica now what i have done in the next line which is very much important for my model building so we have to split data into test and train what is this test and train so uh, the test and train is we have a data which I have uh, assigned it to X and Y. Just we have divided into two parts, X part and Y part. Then uh, now going, we are going to divide the whole the data into uh, 80 into 20 percent. It means for 80 percent, we are going to test the data. Sorry, train the data, and uh, for um, for the 20 remaining 20 percent. We are going to test the data where where we are going to give some number and it will predicts whether it versicolor, citosa, and virginica. Okay, now it's clear. So uh, in this particular uh, uh, code, we are importing the SQLearn model selections. Import the test. Uh, sorry, train test split. Here is the model. Train test split. This is the library, one of the special features of this uh, scalar model. So for the next line, we are we have done is X train, X test, Y train, Y test, and then we are going to build a model. And uh, test size is zero point two. It means zero point twenty percent is the test size. It means, mm, firstly, we are going to split the data, then. Uh, test and train train is 80 percent and test is 20 percent okay it means uh, we, what i have built in the model what uh, i have uh, put in my efforts i will put in train data or only on 80 percent data then after we uh, we are going to predict the whether it is uh, uh, citosa versicolor and virginica in the test data so here, uh, so that's why we have written 0 0.2. It means 0 0.20 percent, 20 percent. Okay, we have to. Okay, it's successfully run. Then what I have done is from sklearn.svm import SVC. Uh, let me show you what is SVC. SVC is also a part of a SQLearn. Here you can uh, read about this. The whole the whole articles on about the SVC. So here is the very relevant code. So what I have done, we have uh, imported the SVC model SVC and fitted to the X train and Y train. This is the model and uh, we have fitted to X train and Y train. Okay, we are, now it's already, uh, it's successfully fitted to my data. So quickly predicts, now 
for the next line we are going to predict the whether my code uh, is working how much it's working how much uh, the test data uh, going to predict uh, it will predict the test data because we have already trained the data here we uh, here we trained the data of 80% and uh, now it's time to predict you are going to give a exam and after some time you wait for the result that's why for the everyone is going to giving to the government exam so same is here we are going to uh, we have done the train data train our data and now it's time to predict now it's time to result now it's time to take the whether you know what type of uh, data uh, gives my predictions and whether it fulfills my predictions or not whether it how much it's predict uh, how much it's able to predict uh, uh, how much it's uh, it will give the correct answer so that's why we are going to predict the uh, now we can we have i have done the name is a prediction one so this one is the model and uh, from sklearn dot matrix import the accuracy scores this will give the accuracy scores the print accuracy score y y test for y test whether the for prediction one uh, into 100 we have done into 100 is uh, again it's giving the 96 percent it means 96 percent uh, times my data is correct to predict my predict my data whether it is versicolor citosa or virginica remaining 0 0.3 uh, 0.4 percent is uh, which is nominal and uh, and uh, if it will give the 100 percent uh, accuracy that uh, it's overfit which is i think not good so this will give the 96 percent which is very good uh, it means my uh, model is very much working and it's good working. So model number one is logistic regression. Let's let's we check the uh, logistic regression that uh, then uh, uh, from SQL install linear models uh, imports the linear regressions and this one is the train and uh, X train and Y train we are going to again check. Uh, it will give the returns same. Now the prediction number two. We are uh, we have done the prediction number one, model one, and prediction number two, which is uh, the prediction number two. Same we are going to predict uh, with logistic regression to predict whether how much uh, my data is working and how much it. Uh, going to accurate my data same we have done which i have done in previous the code are also same just we have uh, changed the data uh, first lines prediction 2 is equal to model lr dot predict x test okay now it will give in percentage i think it will give 100 percent okay name lr is not defined okay No, it will give I think hundred percent. Okay, same ninety six percent. Same, it will also give the ninety percent, ninety six percent. It means our model is properly working. So now it's time to predict the raw data. If I have give the some data to uh, any data, then what will what it gives? So this is the code for this. So what uh, we are predicting the input vectors. So what we have done, uh, we have named a uh, new data set called X new is equal to NP dot array. We are going to the matrix to the raw data. We have given the three, two, one, zero, point two, and uh, the 4.9, 3.2, 3.8, 1.1. Let's see what it will gives you the result what it will predicts so what uh, it will predicts 
the prediction is a prediction is equal to model dot uh, model underscore c s uh, s v c dot uh, predicts x new. What do we have to do? We have to predict the uh, new x new. So we have given the name x new. Print is uh, what uh, uh, here you can do anything. The prediction is uh, blah 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 blah. So you can write it here or anything. And then after dot format prediction, what we are going to do? This predictions we have put it here. So what we, what it will give? It will give the result. With, uh, what is my raw data says? The prediction is this one is prediction is iris titosa and iris versicolor. It means this is the raw data of iris citosa. This is the raw data of iris, uh, iris versicolor. So my data is properly working. My ML is work, properly working. Through this, we, uh, we can conclude that uh, what I have made a model, which is successfully uh, working well and uh, and my model is working well. So this is the model. This is my whole data. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed a lot and uh, learn uh, learn something new about to my raw data from my raw data. And uh, you can also you can also check it uh, from your sides. So uh, sign on, signing off from my side. And uh, thanks. Bye-bye.